Hi, I'm Javon Weathers from the Deep Learning Team. Today, we're getting started with AWS RoboMaker. So AWS RoboMaker allows you to easily develop, test, and deploy intelligent robotics applications. This is a new service that makes it easy for developers to develop robotics applications that are built on intelligent functions in the AWS platform. So what we're gonna do right now as a getting started is launch the Hello World in the sample application. So click Try Sample Applications, come here, click Hello World, and then go down to Launch Simulation Job. So you'll see at the top the blue screen, Creating Sample Application. We'll click here and we'll see our development environments. So now we have development environments, simulation, fleet management, and resources. We'll start here with the development environment. So you have your development environments, your robotics applications, and your simulation applications. To create a development environment, click Create Environment. You're going to name your environment Demo Robotics. The instance type is an M4 large and click Create. So once your environment is actually deployed and created, you, you can click here to open environment. So I'm going to go to my environment that's already up, click open environment, and then our Cloud9 instance is going to open up. Now, as we open up our Cloud9 instance, we'll see AWS RoboMaker and all the software is there for you to go ahead and get started. Here's our terminal and click in case we need to launch packages. We can look at some of the files that are there. All right, then you can go to RoboMaker Run. You can build different environments, add and edit configurations, launch simulations, workflows. Right here, you can connect to a simulation. Now, what we're gonna do now is go and launch a actual simulation in RoboMaker. This is our development environment, and this is where all of our files will be stored. Now, if we go to applications, we'll see that we have a robotics application that was deployed with the Hello World. What is a robot application? The robot application is an application built using the robotic operating system called ROS to run a physical robot and it's customized for robot hardware and architecture. So now we're going to look at our simulation application, which is here. Click on latest and we can just see all of our environments here. Our simulation jobs, that one is actually preparing and it should be prepared in just one second. Then we'll click and connect to Gazebo, RQT, and VIZ. And it'll show us all those when our status is running. Now we'll move down to Fleet Management. Let me close these tabs. We'll go to Fleet Management. So we have robots where we can click create a robot and connect that to our Greengrass group details. So Greengrass can assist us in managing our robots. And if we go back for fleets, so fleets basically is a group of robots where we can register and deregister existing robots to a fleet. The deployment job in RoboMaker is defined for a particular fleet and each robot can only belong to one fleet at a time. So now let's go back to simulation jobs. We see it's running. And now this is where we get into the fun part of the meat of AWS RoboMaker. Let's click connect to our gazebo we're going to connect to the to the rqt now all these are opening the rviz and the terminal so all of these are now opening it's connecting and soon you'll see all the pictures coming up for each of these so gazebo was the first one that we saw so this is really exciting this is a simulated environment where we can insert different parameters for our simulated environment. All these things we can add in, look at our cinder blocks, our Coke cans, and actually move those and move those around. Now we'll go back and see, let's see if our terminal's open. Oh, okay, great, so now our terminal's open. We can see all of the files that are actually located in our terminal for our robot. So you see our terminal here. This is our panel for all of our settings. 
in our simulated environment. So we can do a lot of different things. Move the camera, select, do a camera focus measure. We can do a 2D pose estimate and a 2D nav goal and also look at our publish points. Now the last thing we're going to take a look at is our RQT environment. So we can look at our files, our plugins, we can use different plugins to simulate and run different actions for our ROS development environment. So that's pretty much it for a quick overview of AWS RoboMaker. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really look forward to bringing you additional tutorials on how to deploy a real robot with AWS RoboMaker. I'm Javon Weathers. Thanks for joining us.